Good evening, everyone. Today, Governor Walker issued what he calls balanced budget legislation. It's meant to deal with the state's $137 million deficit that is expected through the month of June. It is the part of the governor's plan that was taken out after Senate Democrats left the state to prevent a vote on the governor's original plan. Republicans then passed a disputed separate bill which took away most collective bargaining rights of most state union workers. So what's in the new bill? Fox 11's Becky DeVries has balanced coverage tonight of the governor's new legislation. Wisconsin state legislators are learning more about Governor Walker's latest budget bill. A vote is expected Tuesday. It's interesting, though, the fiscal budget that had to be done in February, which had to be done in March, is going to be done in April. So um, a little interesting because the non-fiscal is pretty obvious that uh, he had something else in mind rather than fixing a, a budget. So now this comes. Governor Walker's latest plan includes putting more than $20 million toward shortfalls in the Department of Corrections, increasing Medicaid funding, and refinancing debt to save the state $165 million. One of the concerns we have is the borrowing, obviously. Uh, what, $160 million, did they say? Um, With about $40 million of interest, which is a uh, structural deficit in the future. I know it's a tough budget, but that's one thing we'd look at. Well, uh, certainly on, on the, the refinancing of debt, I'm not crazy about that because it does cost additional monies in the old years. But we don't. There, there are no more options left to deal with these with the deficiencies in the budget. The net effect of it is basically ending the year in the black uh, without raising taxes on the middle class. So I think that's very important. Also. It looks like they are um, taking advantage of the historic low uh, rates of the $165 million of refinancing. However, Hansen says the short-term budget plans did not have to happen. There wasn't a trigger to have the budget repair bill uh, at all. The Fiscal Bureau had said it could wait to the full budget. Obviously, they wanted to do what they did, and uh, they got the non-fiscal done and now they're taking on the fiscal. So I'm sure it'll help them when they do their budget that they get some of the deficit out of the way. And at the end of the day, it's about fiscal responsibility. Um, you know, do we want to, you know, finish the year in the black or do we want to, you know, finish it in the red? The good thing is, is you know, it's going to get us into the black without raising taxes. And Senator Hansen says there is no question he and other Democrats will be at the Capitol on Tuesday.